welcome to this piano lesson in which I'll show you an incredibly easy way to learn songs on piano. It's a groundbreaking new method that gives you the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of pop professionals like Sir Paul McCartney and learn to play piano without reading music, by which I mean traditional music notation, which many students struggle with. As well as being easy for beginners, it also enables rapid progress to advanced styles and fun skills like improvisation and playing by ear. If you want to be a concert pianist or you love taking piano exams, then this lesson is not for you. It's designed for people who want to have fun learning popular songs and simple classical pieces. Even though it applies to all ages, it's especially suited for beginners learning later in life, for people struggling with notation or with their left hand, or people who can already play piano but want to do more of the fun stuff. You don't need a piano or keyboard with you right now. Just by watching this video, you'll gain the knowledge that will transform your ability to learn songs next time you're sat at a piano. Specifically, you will learn, number one, the method Sir Paul McCartney and other pop stars use to play piano without notation. Number two, two simple steps that make this method easily accessible for beginners. And number three, a simple process to go from beginner to advanced level in a fraction of the usual time. Okay, let's get straight into it. But hold on a minute. Doesn't conventional wisdom say that you need to read music notation if you want to play piano? Let me explain. You see, notation was designed hundreds of years ago, and it's great for what it was designed to do, which is to play complex classical music. But it doesn't show any of the simple patterns inherent in popular songs, and it's an abstract language of dots that a lot of people struggle with. This causes many people to doubt their musical ability and even give up playing piano altogether. Most pop professionals use a much easier way and a more flexible method to play songs on piano. To understand how it works, it's important to know three fundamental things. One, most Western music is built upon just seven musical notes called a scale. You might recognize it as do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Two, the piano keyboard reflects this scale with repeating groups of seven white notes, either called by letters or by numbers. Each repeating pattern of these seven keys is called an octave. In between each group of seven white notes are five black keys in patterns of two, and three across the keyboard. And these black keys help you identify which white key is which. For example, the first note of the scale is the white key to the left of a pattern of two black keys. Three. When we listen to music, our ears hear two distinct types of notes. The first type is the melody or tune that someone could sing, which is usually how we identify a song. And the second type is all the other notes that provide backing to the melody, called the accompaniment. Why it's super important to know this is it allows us to stop thinking of the accompaniment as a confusing jumble of individual notes, and instead to see it as groups of notes called chords that repeat in simple patterns. Playing music by using these chord patterns is the key to making songs easy on piano, which is why it's the method favored by pop stars. An easy way to think of chords is three notes that sound good together and have a specific distance between them. A simple way to play chords is to play the first, third, and fifth white key from your starting point. So you have a gap of one white key 
in between each of the keys played. I call the pattern of gaps between the notes a playing pattern. To play a slightly more advanced playing pattern, you can add the left hand, repeating the first note of the chord in two different octaves. Here's how to play the six standard chords that enable you to play a huge number of songs. Keep your fingers in the same position and move your hand up by one white key at a time. Chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four, chord five, chord six. In Sir Paul McCartney's documentary, McCartney 321, he explains that he never learned to read music and that he learned to play piano and wrote songs like Let It Be using the six chords and the playing patterns I've just outlined. Here's what he demonstrated in the documentary, although his singing is somewhat nicer than mine. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking Playing by chords is much easier than playing by notation for three main reasons. One, you don't have to learn the abstract language of dots, as chords are called either by letters or by numbers. Two, you can play thousands of songs just using the six standard chords. Three, you don't have to think about all the individual notes being played. Just put your fingers in the shape of the playing pattern and move your hand up and down the keyboard to play the different chords. But there's a problem. Chords only let you play the accompaniment, not the melody. So that's fine if you are singing the melody, but it's a problem if you want to play piano on its own without singing. But there's a solution. It's a new type of sheet music that replaces chord sheets and notation to give you three huge benefits. Number one, it enables both chords and melody to be played so you can play songs on simple classical pieces without using notation or needing to sing the melody. Number two, it uses numbers to make learning piano easier and faster with absolute beginners often playing their first song within an hour. Number three, it unlocks all the fun stuff. Numbers are not only easier for beginners, but in the same way they are used by jazz musicians, these relative numbers enable you to play advanced styles instantly transposed into any key and develop playing by ear skills. Here's how it works for the beginners level. The melody is played in the right hand. The line below the lyrics shows which keys to play. Lines are placed below the numbers to show when they are to be played in the lower octave. Here's how this example is played. The next line down shows the chords. Instead of using letters to name them, for example, C major, D minor, E minor, it's easier to call them by numbers, for example, one, two, three. The easiest way for beginners to play chords is with the left hand, start on the number shown and play the chord pattern. Here's how this example is played. Once you've practiced each hand separately, nice and slowly, you can join the hands together like this.
Using this new style of song sheets shows the incredible number of songs that use the same seven melody notes and the same six chords, enabling you to play thousands of songs and simple classical pieces. It gets even easier. Many songs, especially traditional songs, folk music, rock and roll and blues, just use three chords. Chords one, four and five. Like Twist and Shout. La Bamba. Like Happy Birthday. In this short video, I'm focused on the power of just the standard six chords. But of course, this method enables you to play any chord and any melody, indeed any song. If you already read notation, you can play chords and melody using a standard lead sheet, which shows the melody in notation and the chords in letters. But most students prefer the numbers version for speed of learning and easier access to the advanced skills that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so the way I've shown you to play chords is incredibly quick and easy, but how do you progress to more advanced styles? The answer to this is playing patterns, which are simple hand positions that change the order of the notes and enable you to increase your skills step by step from beginner to advanced levels and play different styles from the same song sheet. I've already shown you the first pattern, which is the fastest way for beginners to play. And so it's called, you guessed it, fast play. A small change to the playing pattern makes this sound a bit more advanced. So we call this fast play advanced. Instead of playing the three notes in the chord at the same time, you play the notes in sequence, for example, starting at the bottom and going up. So that would sound like this. Using the exact same three notes of each chord, you can apply different playing patterns, such as Pro Play, to duplicate these notes in any other octave and add notes into the right hand together with the melody, as follows. Other patterns let you play different styles, for example, blues, rock and roll, and gospel from the same song sheet. It took me years to discover how simple playing piano could be using these patterns. So I hope they are as much of a wow moment for you as they were for me. So to summarize the key points, number one, pop stars use chords instead of notation as it's a flexible and easy way to play accompaniment. Number two, using lead sheets with numbers enables you to play both chords and melody without using notation or singing. It's incredibly fast and accessible for beginners and it unlocks advanced skills. Number three, Playing patterns provide step-by-step -step development using the same song sheet to enable advanced levels, different styles of playing such as rock and roll, boogie woogie and blues, etc. As the method I've shown you is very different from the traditional approach, you might be wondering where it came from. Well, I started classical piano lessons at the age of six and even though I passed the exams, 
After 10 years of study, I found learning songs really slow and I couldn't get up at a party and play anything I considered fun. I almost gave up piano altogether until I was introduced to a Beatles guitar book and realized that it was possible to play piano by chords. Over the next 30 years, I learned different playing patterns and developed fluency in playing by ear which is brilliant fun at parties where people shout out the name of their favorite song and if I've ever heard it before, I can instantly play it. I realized that it was the simplicity of numbers and chords that enabled me to do this. And so to help beginners access these methods, I created the deck play song sheet format, which is so unique it has been awarded a patent. Music's had such a beneficial effect in my life that I'm passionate about enabling others to experience the joys of playing piano. Although my method has helped thousands of people of all ages, it's been especially effective with people learning later in life, like Pam. I had no experience of music and I too found it very, very easy to pick up. And people like Harry, age 90, who show that you are never too old to learn piano. No notation, and just by numbers, you can do it from numbers. And it was that that attracted me. I think it was, you know, so it seems a simple way of learning without going to a host of scale. Within, within 30 minutes, I was playing, playing a full tune, making mistakes, but I was getting through the tunes, yeah, within 30 minutes. I hope you found this video useful. For more details about using this method to learn songs, go to deckplay.com slash pianist. The next videos in this series will cover topics including how to overcome challenges such as left hand issues, hand coordination, and playing with arthritis, easy steps to advanced levels and different styles, and my favorite piano skills, improvising, transposing and playing by ear. Thanks for watching.